you progress for the tabard, you see there is the green parts on it. All have been unsued. Again, you imagine it was kind of long. And see the pattern I did. There, you have green which is stopping there. Meaning that if some part of the tabard goes out of the armor, you will see only this part in natural color. You won't see the green. Same goes there, there. Well, for me, for something interesting for the, the look, the overall look of it. And that way, I like. I like it. The only part that you will see will be there. This part, there. It's still missing the crosses there. And it's really near to the end, in fact. See the back, same. It has been unsued. See there, the, on this side where it joins. Two part of fabric there on the shoulders, and in the middle here on the back. Well, I hope you like the design. And next step, uh, you will see probably the crosses there, and then there will be the little square at the bottom. A bad update, see how oh, gorgeous it looks. All the crosses have been sued, and it's really, really marvelous. I really like the look. See the detail for the sewing, they've been straight sewed. And of course, you won't see anything on the inside. So it's neat, it's beautiful, well made, I like it. I'll show you then how it looks on someone, for that you have a bit of ID for the final look of the warden. This is how it looks, see, it's without the armor, yes. But you can see now how it fit on someone. Bottom. See a bit on the back. There. See these sides. And now we'll see. After with the armor. now with the armor on. See, just the bottom. You can see just the bottom of the bar. What's nice is also that air here. It just match perfectly, like you have on the references. So it's the same match. And what? Well, I really love the look, uh, you have the, just the crosses there, up, you can see it right, well. it's a nice touch, a bit of color which have been added, I like it, I really like the uh, way it looks now. And then the final touch would be right at the bottom with the little square that have two rivets. And then the tabard will be completely finished. See what I did add to the armor. This uh, chainmail, this flat and rifted chainmail on the neck, which is far better than the old piece that I did use. And it was very simple, in fact, just to edit. I didn't make the whole thing. I did just edit it. This is just the front, nothing is clearly fixed there. Just on tension, it won't move much, and the helmet will go at least there, so no problem. All this is fixed at the back. There, see. Under the straps, there for the buckles. I did sew those wires, laser, and those wires, 
uh, there to all Gmail. It's very simple and it let me remove it if I want. I can remove the chainmail from this armor and use it somewhere else. And for many reasons, it could be useful to be able to remove and put it back as I wish. I'm pretty glad to see how it looks. It's really well fixed. Won't move much. And that way I can simply put the armor on, just let someone put all those buckles at the back, and it's on, that's over. With the, the old one I had to put the armor and then to put the chainmail over my head, on the neck, and close it. It was longer, and also it was a pain for your hair, it was really horrible for my hair and also it was longer. So two good reasons to change and to do that way, which is much more efficient and also much more beautiful as it's flat rifted rings. I was at first afraid for the good chain made for edit it, but it's really simple in fact to put on the rings and the rivets and I will have to add there on the arm later on also a bit uh, a sleeve there sleeve as you have in the game 